Welcome. In this video, we will show you how to use ClearLine's encoder calibration tool for the LX200 Classic Telescope. This device simply plugs in between the motor encoder circuit board and its connecting cable. It measures the output signals and gives feedback by a color telling when the signals are correct. Although we've removed the LX200 electronics for this video, that's not necessary for the calibration procedure, and you should be able to do all this in place in the telescope. This RA drive exhibits the common runaway malfunction. The drive is running at full speed, even though we're not commanding it to run at all. We'll fix that by adjusting it to provide a good output signal as measured by the calibration tool. We detach the connector from the encoder and put the calibration tool in its place. Then we attach the connector back to the tool. Now, as the drive continues running away, we adjust the first channel's potentiometer. The tool displays red at first, which means it is not detecting any signal. As we adjust, it turns blue, detecting a signal, but with the wrong duty cycle. And then finally green, for a good 50% duty cycle signal. As we start to tune the other channel, the drive comes out of runaway and stops. So we then command it to run east or west with the hand controller so we can continue adjusting it. When both LEDs are green, we're done. We've got both channels between 45 and 55% duty cycle. Now, let's probe the signals on this encoder board and look at them on the oscilloscope. First, we'll check the signal on the encoder board's test pin, which gets converted by the encoder PCB to a square wave, which we'll check next. This is a typical waveform at the test point. Everything looks good here. Now we'll look at the actual output. We can see that it is a square wave with about a 50% duty cycle. Thanks for watching.